This month, you'll be treated to a series of planet-gazing opportunities, a few other celestial objects, and of course, the September equinox. Whether you're new to stargazing or just seeking some of the other interesting astronomical sights, there's plenty to see in the night sky in September. Additionally, September signals a season change. This means your chances to see the aurora begin to shift hemispheres. It's the perfect time to plan your trip to see the northern lights for those in the northern hemisphere. September 1st, a rigid meteor shower. Auriga is one of my favorite winter constellations. Its big bright stars are easy to spot in the sky. And while it's not winter yet, Auriga is beginning to rise in the sky. With it comes its own meteor shower. The Origid meteor shower is definitely a minor shower. Its maximum rate, ZHR, is only about six meteors per hour. That said, if you're out stargazing on as August turns to September, the 31st to 1st, you might spot a few of them. September 7th, total lunar eclipse. The next lunar eclipse is a total lunar eclipse that will occur on the night of September 7th, or morning of the 8th, depending on where you view it. This particular eclipse will be visible in Africa, Central and Eastern Europe, the Middle East and Asia, and all of Oceania. Estimates say that as many as 6 billion people, nearly 77% of the world's population, will be able to see this eclipse if the skies are clear. September 7th, full moon. The moon will reach full phase. At this time of the month, it is visible for much of the night, rising at around dusk and setting at around dawn. The corn moon, the sequence of full moons that fall through the year, are sometimes assigned names such as the corn moon, according to the months and seasons in which they fall. September 9th, peak of the Epsilon Persid meteor shower. September is not known for its meteor showers. Even those do that occur have a hard time comparing to the show the Perseids put on in August. Still, any chance to spot them is worth trying if the skies are clear. On September 9th, you can try to spot Epsilon Perseids meteors. Despite their name, these meteors are likely not caused by the same comet, 109 p swift tuttle as the August Perseids. Instead, they simply appear to radiate from the same point in the night sky, which is how meteor showers get their names. At their maximum, you can look for roughly five E Perseids per hour, coming from the general area of the constellation Perseus, high in the southwest sky. As I said, not as spectacular as Perseids, but still interesting. September 21st, Saturn at opposition. On September 21st, Saturn will reach its opposition position for this year. If you've never seen Saturn's rings, or if you are keen to see them again, because who isn't? This is a really nice night to try and do so. Look for bright Saturn in the constellation Pisces and use a telescope, even a smaller, lower powered one will do, to try and parse out the rings from our planetary neighbor. September 21st, partial solar eclipse, Seeing a solar eclipse is one of the most impressive and rare space tourism experiences on Earth. The September solar eclipse is a partial solar eclipse, where only part of the sun will be obscured, like a cookie with a bite taken out. This particular eclipse is not particularly easy to see. It will only be visible across parts of eastern Australia, New Zealand, the island nations of the South Pacific, and Antarctica. If you live in that region, be sure to check my guide for this eclipse for more details on how you can view it. September 22nd, September Equinox. On September 22nd this year, the seasons officially changed. The September Equinox, called the Autumnal Equinox in the Northern Hemisphere and the Vernal Equinox in the Southern Hemisphere, signals the point where Earth experiences roughly equal lengths of day and night. While there is no night sky event to view for the equinox, it's a cool time to consider our planet's place in the solar system and how we orbit around the sun. Learn more about the September equinox and how it is marked in different parts of the world. September 23rd, Neptune at opposition. After Saturn reaches opposition earlier in the month, Neptune and the sun will be opposite one another on the night of September 23rd. 
the sun will brightly illuminate Neptune, making it a great time to view this ice giant planet. You will need equipment to see Neptune, which is small and extremely distant. Be sure to review my recommended telescopes and binoculars to find something in advance. You'll also probably need a Starfinder app to spot Neptune, which is in the constellation Pisces. Like 2024, 2025 is a big year for lunar occultations, that is, times when the moon passes in front of other objects in the night sky, from our earthly perspective, of course. Of course, the moon is always passing in front of stuff, but certain lunar occultations are notable particularly when it passes in front of another planet in the solar system. In September, there is one lunar occultation you can try to see. Like eclipses, you need to be on a particular part of the globe to see them, so I've noted the date, the specific occultation, and where you need to be to see it. Here are the close approaches and lunar occultations in September. September 8th, close approach of the Moon, Saturn, and Neptune at 3 degrees 30 minutes of each other in Pisces. September 16th, close approach of the Moon and Jupiter, passing within 4 degrees 28 minutes of each other in Gemini. September 19th, lunar occultation of Venus, visible in Africa, Europe, Western Russia, Canada, Greenland, and Asia. In September 2025, Comet C-2025A6 Lemon will be visible in the eastern sky before dawn, while the interstellar Comet 3I-ATLAS C-2025N1 may be visible through telescopes in the evening sky through early September, fading as it passes behind the sun. 2025K1ATLAS will be too low in the northern hemisphere for good viewing, but will reappear in late 2025. Do you have questions or comments about these events in the September night sky? Or are there others I missed and should add to this list? Let me know in the comments. Enjoy these extra events to spice up your nights of stargazing, and you'll gain a greater appreciation of just how much there is to see out there. For space updates, subscribe to Secrets of Space.